Hey guys, Chris Richard here today, and today I decided to tell another life story. This time's gonna be about the time when another one of those kids that I told about in my last story kind of went crazy and did some pretty outrageous stuff. In the background, it'll be this is like my third or fourth time ever playing Fracture, and we were down by like a lot of points, and we ended up coming back and win it. It was really clutch. I I came through at the end and kind of won the game for us. So uh, I guess I'll just jump right into the story. So again, this takes place in elementary school, just like the last story. And I was probably in second, third grade. And this new kid uh, came to visit our classroom. And this doesn't happen very often because usually you just join at the beginning of the school year, you don't join middle school year. And he came in and seemed kind of socially awkward, just didn't really talk to anybody. And you know, back then everybody was friends, so we'd all try to make friends with him. And it was just good for the first few weeks, few weeks of with this guy. But then he started to act up a little bit. And there are multiple stories with this kid, but I'm going to be telling the one. That was probably the most outrageous thing he did. So, one day, I forget what we were doing, I think we were probably drawing or something like that. And he got really upset. And... We ended up later figuring out that he had anger issues, so getting upset for him wasn't very hard for him, for him to do. So he got upset, and we couldn't really like calm him down. So he just started yelling and getting mad, and you know, just he had to release his anger somehow. So I swear, this kid's th think again. We're only in second grade. He picks up a chair from the ground, lifts it over his head. And freaking like, soccer throws it in onto my friend, and my friend just collapses. And we we're, we're, we all just stood there in awe because like, we've never seen this before. A little seven-year-old kid just freaking soccer tossed a chair at my friend. Well, back then he wasn't really my friend; he was my enemy. But now we're good friends. So yeah, but so you know we're just. In awe, and the teacher, since again she can't physically touch the kid, she just has to try to maintain him and like just call the office, and the office had to come and they had to talk to him. And the thing was, it's not like this was his first time doing something like this either. It was his like second or third, and even after this, he didn't get suspended or anything really. Just he just kept on going to school and doing his thing but towards fourth or fifth grade I think I think so like two three years later he actually got switched to the special ed classroom which actually helped out a lot because then he wasn't as crazy in anger management full and stuff like that so I guess there's still some time in this gameplay because I, I want to show you the entire thing of how he made the comeback so I'll tell another story about this kid now this is this is probably when I go you know a little bit canevious. So this is also the sec second grade and during the beginning of the day we'd all go up to the front of the, cr fl front of the classroom and the teacher would t like read us a story or something like that and I remember I absolutely hated this kid. I hated him with a passion. So he also got this little diary, you know those little diaries that you get at the book fairs with the keys and stuff. So I decided oh yeah I'm gonna steal his key and throw it and just to make him mad and see what he does so you know we're just doing the story time in the beginning of the day and on our way back I quickly get up before everybody walk by his desk because it wasn't the desk that you open up from the top it's the desk where it the hole is in front of you so you just stick your hand in there and you grab stuff so I quickly just run my finger by it grab the key and once I had grabbed the key, I just walked back to my chair and sat down. You know, we continued on with the day. And then I would show my friends and be like, oh yeah, I, I got his key. I'm going to throw it and I'm going to see what he does. And so, you know, the class passed by. And we eventually got out to recess. And once we got out to recess, I, our school has like, it's like surrounded by kind of like a forest and then like a street. So I went over to the foresty side. And there's this fence, and then I just threw it over, 
thinking I was the biggest badass ever, you know. <laughs> and so we, I do that, and then I think later on that day, I see him start looking for the key and asking people around, like, oh, where was the key? And he's, like, starting to accuse people of stuff, and, you know, I, I kind of just avoided him so that he wouldn't notice it was me. But then later that, I think, I think actually that the next day, I see him, and you know how there's that thing where you could supposedly pick the lock with like a paper clip or something like that? I've actually seen people do it. But so he asked the teacher for a paper clip. I see him, you know, straighten it out so that it's like a stick. And I see him <laughs> try to fondle with the key or with the keyhole. And I, I tell my friends and we all just start laughing. He's looking at us like, what are you laughing at? And just starts getting really aggravated. And so this is when I'm like, okay, this is, this is what I wanted. I want him to get mad. So, we eventually just let him see what he does, and he just tries to fondle with it. He's like doing it for like literally the entire class, and we're just laughing. And I don't think he ever really figured out it was that it was me, or ever opened up that key again. So, that was a success. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just, I guess I'll just leave some music in the background or something for the rest of this video, because we made the comeback and it was pretty sick. Like right here, this is this is where we started to pick it up. This is where I'm like, oh shoot, we can actually win. And I end up getting like big kills right here. So leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment what I should do next. This has been your boy Crispy Chimmy. Subscribe. Stay crispy. Thank you.